Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue the series on Spring Framework. Now till this point we have talked about what is Spring and then we have seen the project which we are going to build. But when you want to learn a Spring Framework, there are certain things which you should know and you should have in your machine. The first thing you need to know in Spring is Java. So the prerequisite is the Java language. Of course, right, when you're learning a framework, you need to also know a language on which you're going to build. So you need to know Java from start to end. So when I say end, there's actually no end, but at least you should know uh, till threads and exception handling and collection. So basically I'm talking about the syntax of Java, loops, conditional statements, how do you work with array, uh, working with uh, exceptions, threads and collection. Maybe threads is not that important, but you should know it. A collection is very important. And one of the most important thing is the oops concept. So oops and interfaces, abstraction, uh, those things are very important. Next, uh, when you talk about framework, we also need a build tool. So when you work on a project, there are certain build tools which you have to use. In fact, any one, either it can be Maven or Gradle. So in this particular series, we are going to use Maven. But if you know Gradle before, it will be easier for you to understand Maven. Uh, and if you don't know any of this, Maven is preferred for this series. Next, uh, you need to also know about database connectivity because anyway, we are going to connect our Spring application with database. So if you know JDBC, it will be easier for me to explain you the connectivity there. Then you have to understand Hibernate. See, we are going to use Spring Data JPA here. And then I'm not going to explain how things are working behind the scenes because that's a part of Hibernate concept. So you need to know Hibernate so that you can understand Spring Data JPA properly. And also, uh, if you can work with XML files, uh, that will be better. So get used to XML JSON because uh, of course this course is not about JSON and XML. We will be doing some configuration in XML and uh, the passing of data between the client and the server uh, will be done with the help of JSON format. So you should know what is JSON. Now question arise from where you're going to learn this. So don't worry, you are basically covered. So in the description, you will find the videos for this. Basically you will find the video for a complete Java course where you get Java, Maven, Hibernate in one video. It also has Spring, but it has Spring 5. We are going, we are going to learn Spring 6 here. So till Spring, you can learn everything. And uh, for JSON also, there will be video, XML also there will be video. So make sure that you complete those. So those are the prerequisites before you start with the course. Also, you need to have certain things in your machine. Example, you need JDK, of course, right? Java Development Kit, because you're working on Java. Uh, then you also need a editor. Of course, you can use Notepad here, but then uh, maximum time you will spend in debugging and stuff. So prefer if you can use a IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. Now there are multiple options here and you can use whatever you want to use. Example, uh, we can use VS Code, we can use Eclipse, we can use IntelliJ IDEA and there are multiple tools, but I can work on this three properly, so I'm naming this. Uh, VS Code is good, but it's not optimized for Java. They are still working on it. It's not there yet. Uh, so if you are happy with VS Code, please continue with it. Because I'll see ultimately we are using a Maven for a build tool and for the project structure. It doesn't matter which ID you're going to use, the project structure will remain same. Uh, you can also use Eclipse, which is open source and free. Uh, and it's uh, one of the best tools available for Java development. So Eclipse, you can use enterprise version. And then comes IntelliJ IDEA. Now the thing is, IntelliJ IDEA is great, but they have two versions. One is a community version, and second is the ultimate version. The community version is free. The ultimate version is paid. Now, if you are sure that you're going to work on Java uh, on different projects, and if you join a company, you're going to use IntelliJ IDEA, I would suggest you to explore the ultimate version. It's awesome. Especially for students, they give you discount or free. You can check it out, but it's great. Community version is also good. And we are going to use community version here. And you will be saying, hey, you know, in community version, we don't have all the features. You know what? We don't need all the feature when you're learning things. And also if you're building a small project and if you have a small team, community version works. But of course, if you want some advanced features, if you want to boost your productivity, explore the ultimate version, at least give it a try for a trial version. So yeah, that's about the tools, the things which are needed in your machine and you're good to go. For JDK, uh, the version is go for about 17 because if you want to work with Spring 5, JDK 8 works. For Spring 6, minimum you need JDK 17. I have JDK 21 here in this machine, so I'm going to use that. Uh, again, if you want to use it, you can also use 22 version, but LTS versions are better. So stick to 21 and that perfectly works. So yeah, that's a prerequisite. 
and the tools required for this particular course. See you in the next video.